winter sewing. You can totally garden when it's below freezing. Hi guys, today's video is all about winter sowing. Winter sowing is a really great seed starting technique for beginners and experienced gardeners, but it's nice because it's low maintenance. You don't need plant lights. You don't need those little heating mats. You just sow your seeds, put them outside, and then let them wake up naturally with the springtime. There are so many different seeds you can use for winter sowing. You can do perennial flowers, you can do annual flowers, you can do some veggies, as long as they're frost tolerant. I'll put a big list on my website for some of the more common seeds for winter sowing. How to do winter sowing. Most common way is to use recyclables like milk jugs. So you can save these throughout the winter time. You don't need the cap, so you can get rid of the cat and then make sure they're clean and dry. And then what you're gonna do is just cut them pretty much in half. So this one I cut here, so it has a hinge of one side, and that works well. Some people like to cut them here right where the handle is, and that can work too. So we've got the container, it's cut in half, it's got a top, it's got a bottom. You're gonna want about three or four inches of soil, so make sure that you're using kind of a tall container. Milk jugs are nice because they have a hole on the top, so I don't have to cut any holes on the top. Um, but you do want to cut a few drainage slits in the bottom. So the first thing we want to do is get all our containers set up with tops, bottoms, little holes on the top, and little slits on the bottom, and then we'll be ready to plant. So I'm going to cut this about halfway up so that I can get three or four inches of soil. I still have room to water and that the little seedlings have some room to sprout when the weather is just kind of questionable and they still need a little bit of cover. There we go. Now for the drainage holes in the bottom. We have a bottom, we have a top, we have an air hole, we have drainage holes. Last thing to do is not forget to label it. I like to label it with a, I've got like a paint marker that tends to, to last outdoors, but if you have a UV like garden marker or something that can work well, or you can just write it with a regular permanent marker on duct tape and then like put it on the bottom where the sun can't fade it. There's a lot of different options. I like to label them in a couple places too. So I'm gonna put kale in this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this. It's too cold outside for my marker. So I'm gonna label this one inside. Here we go. Okay, so my containers are ready. Now I've got my potting soil. I've mixed some water in with the potting soil. If it's freezing weather where you are, you weren't gonna wanna do this inside. So I did that. Um, you can see the steam coming out of it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill the bottom of these containers with three or four inches of potting soil before I put in the seeds. You wanna leave a little bit of room to water. I'm just gonna pat it down here so it's kind of flat. It does not have to be perfect. Okay, let's do this one. Winter gardening. Okay, we've got potting soil in all the containers now. This is the worst part because I have to take my gloves off. <laughs> Here's the lettuce one. Get my seeds. As you can see, you very carefully just sprinkle the seeds all over. Now lettuce seeds are pretty small, so I'm not terribly worried about covering them with potting soil. You could cover them with a little bit if you wanted. I'm just gonna pat them in. Just gonna go pat, 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 pat. Now we're ready to do this kale here. It's way too many. And you really don't have to be very exact. Just kind of sprinkle them gently all over the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and just pat them in a little bit. You can sprinkle some more potting soil over them if you like. Maybe I'll do that. But it's, it's pretty easy. And there we go. So the lettuce is done, the kale is done. These are coated seeds, so you can kind of see them more easily. But I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of space them out a little bit. And they don't have to be buried that deep. There we go, these seeds are winter sown. Last part is to tape it shut.
can put this somewhere where it's exposed to the elements but it's not going to get kicked over or anything like that and it can just stay outside until the weather starts to warm and the seeds they know when to germinate so it will just wake up with the seasons and soon I'll have little baby seedlings long before I could have them hardened off if I'd grown them inside so they're not the most attractive containers but my yard doesn't really look its best right now anyway all right so that's how to do winter sewing for beginners thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video